In this problem, we're told a rocket starts from rest and moves upward from the surface of the Earth. For the first 10 seconds of its motion, the vertical acceleration of the rocket is given by a sub y equals 2.8 times meters per second cubed uh, t, where the plus y, or the positive y direction, is upward. a, what is the height of the rocket above the surface at t equals 10 seconds? b, what is the speed of the rocket when it is 325 meters above the surface of the Earth? So let's write down what we're given. And I'm going to try and teach this to you more intuitively. Uh, so that's just the way I'm going to show you how to do it. So we know a sub y is equal to 2.8 uh, 2.8t, right? 2.8t uh, meters per second cube. I'm not going to write that down, though. So we know that this is a sub y. And so what we're trying to do is find the height, and we're trying to find the speed of the rocket. So the, that's velocity, or the b is velocity, and a is... Um, basically your position, right? So the way I want you to think about this is if you remember from calculus, you can find the velocity. Uh, if you're given the, you can find the velocity in the position by taking the integral of this function, right? So if you take the integral of an acceleration function, which in this case is 2.8t, so I take the integral, and I'm gonna call it v sub y, because the velocity is the uh, integral of acceleration. If we take the integral of this, it's gonna be, right, you, uh, add one to the exponent and then divide by it. So it's gonna become 1.4 t squared. Hopefully you know how to find integrals. Plus c, but we can ignore that, it doesn't matter because it's just zero. So 1.4 t squared is your v sub y. And then that's, that's how you can solve for velocity, right? So if you have time, you can find velocity. And then x sub y, your position, right? Uh, which in this case will be height. I guess you could call it y sub y or whatever. I'm just gonna call it x sub y, it doesn't really matter. And so if we try and take uh, the integral of this, you add one of the exponents, so it's going to become t cubed, and then you divide by that. So 1.4 divided by 3 is 0.467. So that's that. So now we have all three of our functions, and we're going to use these to solve. So let's go ahead and start with a. So a is, what is the height of the rocket above the surface at 10 seconds? Right. So height is change in position, essentially, right? because change in from position from our beginning to end. So essentially, we have the time. And we have this uh, position function here, and we can just plug in t and solve, and that's going to give us the change or the position, right, where we're at. So plug in t into this, 0.467, if you plug in t, so let me go ahead and do that, 0.4, here one second. So if you do 0.467 times, essentially, uh, it's going to be 1,000, you're going to get 467. And so keep in mind what unit we're using. It's a distance. Our acceleration is measured in meters. So it's going to be in meters, right? This is meters per second. So our distance is meters. So your answer to A is just going to be 467 meters. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to B. So B is going to be, what is the speed of the rocket when it is 325 meters above the surface of the Earth? So there's going to be two steps to this problem. Keep in mind, it's going to be like this, uh, the last one where we have some time and we're going to plug it in and we can get velocity. But we need to know at what time is it 325 meters above the surface and how can we find that? Well, we have this position, right? If we plug in the 325 meters for this, we can find the time it's at that. And then with that time, you can plug it into here and get the velocity. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So 325 equals, because we're using the position, 467 times t cubed. So if you go ahead and do this, if you want to solve, divide both sides by 0.467. So you're going to get t cubed equals 325 divided by 0.467, which is 6, 9, 5, and so on. Uh, and then what you can do is just square root that number. So, or cube root that number, right? Because we have t cubed right here. If you cube root it, you'll get rid of it. So if you go ahead and t, uh, take the cube root of 325 divided by 0.467, you'll get 8.861 and so on. I'm going to go ahead and round to 8.86. So it's going to be 8.86 seconds, right? Because we're this our time unit is seconds. So time is going to be equal to 8.86 seconds. But this is going to be our final answer, right? Because we're trying to find the velocity at this time. So we can just take this time, plug it into this function right here. So v sub y uh, equals 1.4 times t squared. That'll give us the velocity. So if we plug it in, 1.4 times 8.86 squared. If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 109.899 and so on. I'm going to round to 110. So just make it 110. 
And then keep in mind what units this is. This is velocity, so we measure it in meters per second. So your answer to B is going to be 110 meters per second. So yeah, these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.